The app available from the App and Play Store. Hi, I'm Sonia Dutta and today we're at Baltimore House, which is the latest development from Galliard Homes. Now, before we get to know more about Galliard Homes from their sales director, David Galman, let's give you a quick tour inside. Baltimore Tower presents luxury living at extraordinary heights, rising up to 450 feet above Canary Wharf's iconic skyline. From the 2nd to the 45th floor, you'll find a sensational collection of one, two and three bedroom apartments and penthouses, surrounded by breathtaking views of Canary Wharf, the O2 Arena, Maritime Greenwich and the Shard. Uh, David, just like on radio, how we get uh, first-time listeners every single day, I'm sure there are many people who it's a uh, first-time introduction to Galliard Homes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Galliard Homes and what your aim is and what you do? Hi, um, I'm David Gelman from Galliard Homes. I'm the sales director. I think I'm quite well known to uh, Sunrise Radio listeners. We're often doing outside broadcasts together. We've been developing property in and around London and inside the M25 for approximately 25 years. Uh, we've started off with a number of regeneration schemes and have regenerated areas such as South East London, Bermondsey, Tower Bridge, Canary Wharf, the Isle of Dogs. Uh, we're sitting here now in Baltimore Tower in a penthouse that's on the market for just shy of £4 million. And that shows you the breadth and the spectrum of the properties that we've got because we've got developments in Luton and Kings Langley and Romford in Essex where properties start at as low as £150,000. So we try, and, we try and offer everything across the spectrum. Absolutely. Uh, Baltimore Tower, absolutely spectacular views and I'm so, um, so thankful that you haven't made me take my heels off as well, considering the, uh, the property itself. Tell us more about Baltimore Tower. The hills is a reference to the very expensive floor that we've got here. Um, Baltimore Tower is, uh, is what's known as the Twisty Tower. Uh, where of course the building doesn't really twist, but because of the, the architecture of the, of the terraces and the balconies, it, it has the illusion of, of twisting. We've sold nearly all of the apartments in here, there's just over 300, uh, but we are now uh, marketing these two penthouses that we've brought to the market. We had a little launch party last Thursday evening, which went extremely well, the press loved it. Hopefully we can find two buyers, one for each of them, somewhere in the region of four million pounds but uh, we're looking to sell them. This particular one that you're in has been beautifully furnished and designed by Argent Design, Nicola Fontanella, who has designed properties in the past for Guy Ritchie, Madonna, people like that. Nice. Um, all right, so you also have the other developments in Romford, Orchard uh, Wharf and St Edward's Court as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about those. So my current favourite on the permitted development side of the market, which is uh, 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 an existing office building that you take and you can convert into small starter units, is a scheme that we've got called Westgate House in Ealing, just, just right by Hangar Lane Station, where we've got um, 300 apartments, studios, one beds and some small two beds uh, on the market. We've got four show flats that we've just opened. It's a stunning development. Uh, and it's perfectly located. West London, we've found over the past couple of years, has been an area that people are looking to uh, purchase in. We've managed to take people from different parts of London and creep them in there. Brilliant. Um, there have been some misconceptions or maybe misunderstandings um, with the Help Device scheme. Uh, would you like to shed some light on that? Yeah, so Help to Buy is a scheme whereby the government will lend you 20% if it's outside London, 40% if it's in a London borough, of your deposit. So you have to have 5% and the government will lend you either 20 or 40% again depending where it is. That's over five years. For the first five years that's interest free and then there is an interest payment that, that comes in where you start paying it off after five years. I think the reality is depending where the market sits you might sell it within that five year period and the government are actually becoming a partner with you. So the government has become partners with thousands, maybe even millions of homeowners across the country whereby they own a 20% or 40% stake in the property. So when you sell it, you get, you get your profit on the, on the percentage that you own within it. So it's, it's kind of an extension of shared ownership, but it's the government that's your partner, which means 
uh, I think it's a good thing that the government are supporting property in this way. Help to buy is available up to £600,000, which means it's not being abused and taken taken to, to extra lengths by people that perhaps don't need to use it to get into the property market. It's available not just to first-time buyers, it's available to anybody that at that moment in time does not own a property and are resident in the UK. You don't have to be a citizen, you just have to be resident. Also, you, th there are qualification processes that you have to go to to make sure you can afford it, together with making sure that you can afford a mortgage. There's something very interesting, sorry mm -hmm. you were about to ask a question, but I'll dive in. Go ahead. We've so help to buy is only available six months prior to completion, so the property's got to be ready within six months. And what a number of us developers have found, we like to sell much earlier than that, 12, 18 months prior to completion. So we've got certainty of sales for our, our funders and our banks. So we introduced the help to buy option, which is we qualify you at the stage that you make your offer for help to buy, and we qualify you for a mortgage at that stage. Of course, your circumstances might change come six months prior to completion. But you then sign up for an option agreement to us, which commits you to purchase the property. But it's kind of more of our risk than it is the purchaser's risk, because if at the time then, six months prior to completion, we start the help to buy process again and we start the mortgage process. If your circumstances have changed and you don't qualify, the 5% deposit that you've paid at that time, which has been held by liars, lawyers, is liars, lawyers, I nearly said that, is fully refundable to you. So, like I say, it's our risk, but it gives us a little bit more certainty and we think it's a really good thing to offer to youngsters getting on the ladder. Absolutely, understood. Um, do you think there needs to be more clarity around stamp duty changes? Is that something you can do for us now? Yeah, I mean, there's, there, there's been so many stamp duty changes within the market. I have no clue what the stamp duty is at the, at the top end of the market. I just have to go online and stick it in the calculator. But the, the government did introduce, uh, introduce stamp duty free zones up to £300,000 for first time buyers and also a very low level of stamp duty up to half a million pounds. So they have recognised the difficulty in youngsters having to pay that extra tax. What we've seen in the in, in, in the higher levels whereby it's a million pound and over is a lot of people just simply not moving. They're deciding, why am I gonna give the government 150,000 pound in tax when actually I can just improve my property? And I think that's why you'll see a number of extensions being put onto properties in those kind of price ranges. And there you have it. If you'd like to check out Galliard Homes and their luxury apartments with spectacular views like this, then all the information is below. Do check it out and we'll catch you again soon. Sunrise Radio. Sunrise Radio. Playing the best mix of music.